Hello, Leah. Welcome to your bonus read. Happy birthdays, boys and girls. Happy birthday to all who are celebrating, who are celebrating today and who will still yet to celebrate. Hope it's a great birthday season. I have Tarot the Mystical Moments for the main deck. I have Wheel of Fortune Tarot for the clarifying deck and the links to these decks can be found down below in the description box. Five of Wands reverse, Leo. There, there's your energy and a page of cups. It looks like, so Five of Wands reverse is making amends, okay? And it's also could be an apology and maybe that's tied to this page of cups going on over here. So it feels like there's gonna be some type of reach out. Um, but yeah, let's see, let's see where this is going. Now, this is an extended read. So get your favorite adult beverage, get comfy, and let's do this. All right, Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Leo. If you are a Leo, know a Leo, feel like being a Leo. Leos, I'm glad you're here. You could be a Leo. Look at the Knight of Wands. I'm keeping it out. That is wild the way it flipped out. You could be a Leo and this resonates. You could be dealing with a Leo. It could resonate as the main story and Leo can be the cross watcher. This reading could be about a Leo or for Leo. Take it as it resonates. Collective messages from my lovely lions, sun, moon, rising, Venus. All right, Leo. What is the energy? I'm going to leave the Knight of Wands, but I'll get another card here. What is the energy for Leos they need to be aware of? Aha. Uh -huh. Look at that. Minor and major of each other when, when the deck split, six of wands, where this card fell out of. King of Pentacles reverse. What's influencing the Knight of Wands and King of Pentacles reverse? Sagittarius and Taurus right there. Uh, two fives. Empress reverse and the six of wands. Well, why am I getting three? I, for some reason, I'm getting three energies here. Six of Wands, there you are. Empress Reverse is also Taurus and Sagittarius. Okay, what's the reason for the reading? What's the reason for the reading for Leo? What's the reason for the reading? We have Devil Reverse and the Wheel of Fortune Reverse. Something definitely wasn't changing somebody's behavior, some type of toxicity. Wheel of Fortune Reverse can talk just the pattern. It's, there's been a pattern here. What's in the past? What's in the past? Knight of Cups, Pisces energy. What's on your mind? Oh my God, Ace, look at that. Did you guys see how these cards flew out? Ace of Cups, Ten of Cups, Three of Wands, King of Cups. What is all this? Leo, where are, I feel like you're going towards love. All right, what's the near future? Or at least towards something that makes you very happy. What's in the near future? What's in the near future? Four of Pentacles, Capricorn. You got two Capricorns going on here. How do you currently see yourself? How do the Leos currently see themselves? How do the Leos see themselves? King of Cups reverse, Scorpio. What's the energy coming in you don't see coming? Three, something new. Uh, this is a new offer, Three of Pentacles. And you have Capricorn. What's What are in your emotions? What are in Leo's emotions? Letting it go. Nine of Wands reverse for something else. What's, what's the outcome here for Leo? What's the outcome here for Leo? Making a decision. Two of Wands reverse. Give me one more card. What's the outcome for Leo? I feel like you're, you're, I think somebody showed their true colors recently and it kind of made the decision easier. I, I, whoever this Knight of Cups is, Ace of Cups, Ten of Cups, Three of Pentacles. So I feel like that you've you have somebody around you who's willing and and waiting possibly to say something, um, or you may even know who they are. But on the side of that, I just feel like you've been dealing with something that's just been very stressful. And you know what? It, it's a third party, but it may not be three people. It might be your job. So and the reason why I say that is that some of you might be deciding to leave work, leave a job, go to something else, start something over, and you have somebody coming in that's really strong by your side. And for some of you, obviously, if you were in something and they just haven't changed no matter how many times they promised... I just feel like that this last time they let you down is your ticket out of there. What's the outcome here for Leo? 
What is the outcome here for Leo? What is the outcome here for Leo, please? There we go. You got two. No, you got three. Knight, look at that. Magician, the star. Look at those two huge majors. Knight of Pentacles reverse and the Hermit reverse. So the Knight of Pentacles reverse on the marijuana leafy horse, I feel like something just isn't working anymore. It's not growing. It's not doing anything. And you're tired of waiting and keeping yourself back from someone or something that really deserves your attention. And this is a, I feel like whoever you have new in your life, they're, they, they would do whatever it takes to make you happy or to secure this with the magician and the star. If this is a job read for some of you, because some of you will resonate as a job read, you have an employer, King of Pentacles reverse is a cheapskate energy. It's somebody who's very insecure, somebody who's all about the way they look or how they look. And um, I guess it's the same thing. No problem throwing people under the bus. They pay themselves first and I owe you later. You know what I mean? And this is a person that's always going to say, yeah, 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 yeah. I, you know what? I have to pass you up this time for the race, but next time, well, next time it doesn't come once again. So it really either way sets you off saying, it's time for me to fly. You got the six of wands influencing the knight of wands. And I feel like somebody sees your, your worth. Somebody sees who you are and they want you immediately. So either way, it's like leaving the trouble behind. Honestly, this, this is just trouble. I feel like this is just somebody was wasting your time because they didn't want to change. Look at that judgment page of cups reverse. And also if this is whoever this was in your life, I feel like they're very disrespectful. I'm just saying I do. I feel like they're, they're toxic and disrespectful and they're their own worst enemy. But I feel like they blame other people for it. What's this Knight of Wands and the King of Pentacles reverse center of the reading? What is the Knight of Wands and the King of Pentacles reverse center of the reading? Knight of Wands and the King of Pentacles reverse for Leo. Knight of Wands and the King of Pentacles reverse. And the Fool ready for something new, breaking free. I feel like this person did you a favor, honestly, by being rude to you. I get rudeness. I don't know why, but I'm getting like brash rudeness. And you're saying, you know, it doesn't even like hurt anymore. You're just saying, okay, my eyes are open. What am I doing here? So yeah, I just feel like you're flying, flying out. Six of Wands, Empress Reverse influencing. And the two, see, now we have the two of wands upright, how he holds the world, but still waiting to make a decision. How come you do have a two of wands reverse? So you are making a decision. I feel like to be in this full energy, you have a second chance at happiness and love. And I don't think you're going to miss it. Not even for this, letting the devil hold you back. Devil reverse, wheel of fortune reverse, reason for the reading. What's this devil reverse and the wheel of fortune reverse, reason for the reading for Leo? You have two magicians. That's not a card. Let me tell you, devil and the magician are not cards that come out very often. And boom, you have two magicians. If this is you, Leo, I feel like some of you, this could be even a family member that just whittled you down, that always liked to ha have control and made you feel less than, even though you always had the power to be more than. And I don't know, it could be jealousy, it could be insecurity, it could be they don't want to be alone. But either way, you're now knowing who you are. With the, the magician has all these new ability, I would say abilities, I meant new beginnings, but probably abilities too. And I think you you realize that when where you put your your energy is where things happen, negative and, and positive. And you just want a better life. And it's okay to have a better life. And I don't think you're allowing anyone or anything to hold you back from this life anymore. I get s such suppression and like somebody tried to like, Im not try, I feel like they have emasculated your masculine energy. No matter if you're female or male, masculine energies is where we go out and just accomplish and we're doing this. We don't care. It's very fool-like, right? It's so our feminine energies can be happy and create and love. But I just feel like you're really getting yourself back here. Knight of Cups in the past. What is this Knight of Cups in the past? King of Pentacles upright. Interesting, because you got a King of Pentacles reverse there. 
We've got a King of Pentacles. Three of Pentacles over here. I'm sorry, I'm just like looking at the line because when tarot is in a line, it's really important. Give me one more card here. King of Pentacles reverse. Why is the King of Pentacles reverse? And it's the female right here. And the Four of Swords, Libra. I was waiting for the Libra because the Empress is Taurus and Libra. We have a crap load of Taurus in this line and now we got our first Libra. Four of Swords is a pullback energy. For some of you, somebody pulled back. Is it because they were waiting on you and they thought you're not coming? But a four swords is peacefulness too. It's not just a pull back because they're hurt. It's not even a hurt energy. It's just somebody who respects themselves, respects the situation. And you know what? It's it's getting, making things to see things a lot more clear. That Libra and energy to see what's not working in one's life. King of Pentacles reverse looks like when this is upright, it really looks like full of abundance. You know, things are really growing quickly in your life, but something hasn't been growing here for some time. And to see it properly, it, you fall back to see it clearly. I think you're seeing clearly, it's almost like the minor arcana card or the judgment card of what's not working and you're doing some cutting and what is working. And I feel like you're making a decision to go towards it. Yeah. I'm looking at the Ace of Cups in the Chariot. I think on your mind, I think there's no doubt where you want to be. Four of Pentacles near future, Capricorn. Four of Pentacles in the near future. And the Ten of Wands, Sagittarius. Why the Four of Pentacles and the Ten of Wands in the near future? And the Page of Pentacles. You, the, here's your new beginning. Some of you are tying up loose ends. Um, you might put your two week notice in. That's what it kind of feels like. It's just a holding pattern, this four of pentacles. And in the near few, it's just kind of like, it, I feel like you're starting to prepare for the next step, honestly. And also, if this is what you want, let's say if this is a job, you might actually apply for something new. And you might actually, this is just either you go to the interview waiting to hear because right next to that you got a three of pentacles so somewhere between this four of swords and the king of pentacles reverse and this three of pentacles upright and you're working your ass off and doing what you have to do for a better life it ends up happening you finally get over that last mountain and mountains in tarot represent problems so i feel like you finally get on top of the problem see how he's on the pro and you can see things clearly and that's exactly what this four of swords is what is this king of cups reverse how you currently see yourself scorpio and it just feels unhappy where in your present situation what's this king of cups reverse how leo see themselves and no choice making a decision to move on to something better and why do i feel like somebody disrespected you because you got the wheel of fortune reverse and the devil reverse and the reason why i feel like this might be a family member wheel of fortune reverse can talk about family patterns and there might be more than one person where you might be the black sheep of your family but you're not the black sheep you just stand out because you aren't one of them you're not one of these these people you know it just feels very very toxic here and very negative and you aren't like that you might be soft-hearted and that may have been used against you you might have dreams and that may have been used against you but you're realizing who you are isn't an insult and isn't a liability but it's your best asset and you're moving to it's like your mind is finally clear on what you need to do next all right what's this three of pentacles energy coming in you don't see coming what's this three of pentacles wheel of fortune reverse now look at this card i i don't mean to smile but it was in my mind and now it's gonna come out my mouth i feel like you're gonna tell these people and what are those birds doing they're looking anywhere anywhere i can't even speak anywhere but at her she can't even get their attention she's doing all the work they're just sitting on their ass and they can't even respect her enough to look and she's like snap 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 clap come on can you are you guys paying attention Something is not going to change and you're realizing somebody isn't going to change. So what do you have to do? You're the change that changes all of it. 
You want a wheel of fortune upright, you are making that decision to have a wheel of fortune upright. You want to keep having a wheel of fortune reverse. You, all you have to do is just keep sitting here in the same energy and do nothing. You're going to get exactly that. So you're making the decision, six of swords, to move on to something better. Because if you don't, it won't change. And you real, you're starting to really realize that. Nine of Wands reverse in your emotions. What is that about? What is the Nine of Wands reverse in Leo's emotions? And the Eight of Swords, guilt. This is a very guilt card, guilt-ridden card, because she she thinks that she's trapped, but she's not. Nothing on this image is entrapping. So it is of the mind. And it feels like somebody's trying to guilt you to stay, but the Nine of Wands reverse is saying you're releasing the pain. You're releasing what wh whoever hurt you and you're just on your chariot ready for the new and i do feel like somebody's going to try to guilt you for this but nothing's going to stop this this uh blessing coming in you got the star and the magician outcome card what is that about the star and the magician the lover some of you this is a love relationship and some of you this is about yourself the lovers used to be called the choice and most importantly you're making the choice to grab what it is you dreamed of and you always dreamed of but you were told you can't have um i do kind of feel like some of you have somebody really good on your side and some of you are obviously going towards that individual and then from there on maybe you're gonna put yourself into school again maybe you're gonna start a business pick up write a book go into music whatever it is you're gonna feel empowered to be able to do it because you have the right people who are really listening who are really connected to you not people who you're trying to get their attention and they don't obviously care if it's not about them they don't care and and that's what you see two of wands reverse knight of pentacles reverse and the hermit reverse also in the outcome page of swords good news coming in page of swords a decision you make but I can't help to feel like you hear some type of yes, because an ace of upright is a yes card. And I do feel like the good news is around hearing from someone or something. And that has you finally getting out of this known of this wheel of fortune reverse into something better. So we have Virgo here. We have Virgo here. Two magician cards are Virgo along with that's Virgo, Gemini, Gemini here. So it really feels it could even be something that started in Gemini and it's going to wrap up in Virgo where you're making a decision to leave. But Virgo season is going to be explosive for you. Honestly, I think that is where the fireworks are really going to be at. And the fire is going to be lit under your lion ass, not, you know, L-I-O-N. And you're going to say, you know what? Enough's enough. I need this and you're not going to hold me back. Not anymore. All right, my Leos. Happy birthday. I love you guys. Have a great start to your week. I'll do the weekly reads tomorrow um, and have a good evening. Take care.